Imagine what it would be like to witness the most magical fighting tournament on Earth. An island where all your favorite Disney characters fight to the death. Okay, not to the death, but in a cage fighting tournament to crown the greatest Disney warrior. Welcome to Disney's Fight Island. Now, before all you feminists break the dislike button, we didn't create a women's bracket because we felt there would be an obvious winner. Okay, so back in April, Disney forced the UFC's hand into canceling UFC 249 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. To get back at Disney and keep ourselves entertained, we came up with a Disney Fight Island tournament bracket. The bracket was posted to Twitter, and after three days of polling, a champion was crowned. In round one, we saw the Battle of the Shirtless with Tarzan versus Aladdin. As expected, Tarzan's childhood training with gorillas put him over with the one-sided victory over Aladdin as he garnered 85% of the votes. Next, we saw another one-sided whooping as human Hercules took on colonizer John Smith and whooping so one-sided it gave us flashbacks of UFC 229. Unsurprisingly, the battle of the villains was much closer. Captain Hook narrowly defeated Jafar, taking 55% of the votes. The Hook proved to be the deciding factor in that one. Next, we witnessed what some fans are calling the worst robbery since Pacquiao vs. Bradley. Kronk's 53% was just enough to hand Gaston a split decision loss. Making a sacrifice to the fight gods, the matchmakers pitted Shan Yu's scary self against teen heartthrob Quasimodo. To give credit where credit's due, Quasimodo did manage to take 27% of the votes, but in the end, it was not enough to take down Shan Yu. In less exciting matchups, Prince Eric somehow defeated Kristoff, Li Shang wrecked David Kawina, and Cusco put the smackdown on Milo. In round two, things began to heat up. Hercules earned the decision victory over Tarzan, and Kronk got the first round knockout against Captain Hook. Sadly, in this round, we also witnessed the first death of the tournament. When Mario Yamasaki stopped Shan Yu's bludgeoning of Prince Eric's motionless body 10 minutes too late. Finally, Li Shang versus Kuzco went as expected, with Li Shang earning a convincing 75% of the votes. In the final four, we were left with Hercules versus Kronk and the epic Mulan rematch with Shan Yu versus Li Shang. But here's where things got interesting. We actually lied about the three days of Twitter polling. It was only two days. We stopped at the semifinal round because our graphics guy was too lazy to update the tournament graphic. So with an unexpected twist that you could only expect from an M. Night Shyamalan film, here's what happened. The final four contenders fell ill with COVID-19, and so did everyone else who participated in the tournament, except, of course, Quasimodo. That's right, quasi Moto. He was crowned champion by default. The end.